Hi everyone. I just finished reading a new book, um, You've Got the Power by Lavinia Plonka, a fellow Feldenkrais practitioner. She presents the four paths to awaken your body's archetypal energies. In The Beginner's Guide to Jungian Psychology by Robin Robertson, Jung is quoted as saying the archetypes are the unconscious images of the instincts themselves. In other words, that they are patterns of instinctual behaviors. This means that we have these basic patterns available to us, even if we've never experienced that behavior in our lives. This is energy that we can all tap into, and Ms. Plonka aims to show us how. She walks us through the qualities of each of the four archetypes, the warrior, the teacher, the healer, and the visionary, and describes where their center of power lives in our physical selves. She also talks about the kryptonite and superpower of each archetype. The qualities of the warrior are power, attention, and honor. Warriors don't necessarily wield weapons on a battlefield. They rise up to battle corruption, oppression, and greed at every level of our human experience. And the center of the warrior's presence is the pelvis. This is about stepping up, showing up, and standing your ground. The pelvis is the center of our primal emotions like terror, lust, and ecstasy, and our primal instincts of self-protection like fight, flight, and freeze. Many cultures have disowned these lower order functions and thus inhibited the movement of the pelvis, but the pelvis is the center of both our mobility and stability. It holds our freedom of expression that is essential to our life-affirming energies. The qualities of the teacher are wisdom, responsiveness, skill, and communication. Ms. Plonka writes, when we are called to teach, we're immediately called to learn. The teacher's center of presence is the chest, which contains and protects the heart and lungs, as well as the solar plexus. Medical research is now acknowledging how important the connection between the breath and the heart rate is to general health and well-being. The teacher listens by breathing in information and responds by breathing out the expressions of the heart. The qualities of the healer are energy, connection, and sensation. Everyone has wounds. We are energy beings and the healer offers connection and sensation to heal our wounds. The healer's center of presence is the hands. The hands take up a huge proportion of the brain and it's our hands that reach out our energy to the world for community with it. The qualities of the visionary are insight, foresight, and hindsight. The visionary sees possibility where impossibility reigns, leaving them to often be considered lunatics and dreamers. Can it be any more obvious that the visionary center of presence is the eyes? She talks about seeing within, seeing beyond, and clarifying our vision, as well as our own self-image. She gives us examples of how our eyes literally link to our thoughts through our optic nerve. Ms. Plonka talks about what holds back the energy that is available to us from each of these archetypes, their kryptonite. And she also discusses each of the archetype superpowers, which are the abilities that if cultivated, allow us to become the fully realized person we dream about. She shows us how to open up and empower these instinctual abilities by embodying them within ourselves. The approach that Ms. Plonka takes by diving into the somatic presence of the archetype sets this book apart. It is not often that a book will describe a concept intellectually, but also somatically. This is vertical integration that fills out the concept into full fruition. Ms. Plonka shares her own experiences of connecting with her archetypal energies, which I think personalizes the subject and invites the reader to be open and honest in their own introspection. I especially love the roadmap at the back of the book that illustrates how to use the ideas in the book to map out a strategy for transformation. But I truly loved the QR codes that allowed the reader to experience the audio somatic lessons from the author herself. She personally invites us to find the nuances within ourselves rather than dryly parsing out some written instructions. This book truly offers a new approach for the seeker that is easily understandable and digestible. It's a book that you'll want to read again and again. I've already read it twice.